Welcome back to another Alliance War video. We have four Loki versus Legion. They banned Kushala, Sunspot, and Bishop. And uh, we have a different war uh, this time. So this is actually, uh, I'm, I'm posting this late. Um, I am bringing Mojo, Claire um, to the team, and uh, White Magneto. And this is right before Kabam nerfed the global again. I don't know if nerf is the, the word to use um, because it, it's, it was bad to start, then they nerfed it and it was still kind of bad. It, it's not that it's horrible. It's just with certain defenders, it just can get, it gets kind of crazy. And uh, unless you're fighting them consistently, you don't really realize that. So I know some, some people have been posting videos like, oh, it's not that bad, it's not that bad. And then they say, oh, but I really haven't fought X, Y, and Z. It's like, well, Go fight X, Y, and Z, and uh, and then see how how much fun it is, right? Um, which brings me to this war. I am bringing Mojo because Legion placed three serpents in the battle group, and uh, I have taken a, a serpent serpent before this season a few times, and so have my other um, BG mates, and it's not a fun time, and I don't like seeing. Um, Part of war is basically what I enjoy is is really kind of coming together as a unit and planning something out and figuring out the the obstacles and getting through them and, and seeing my teammates really um, really shine and, and feel good about the war and what this global has done is really kind of beat them down to where they feel like they're not very good or they shouldn't be playing and, and you know we all go through this should i retire should i not you know phase uh with mcoc for various reasons it is very time consuming um and uh, and it you to keep up an account you know it, you, do, you do have to invest time or money or both um in certain aspects but as we're looking at where the serpents are placed um and then to, to have war kind of beat you down, it's already stressful. The feeling of, of, of soloing is great, but just knowing that I'm planning these wars and, and people just, you know, slip up here and there and they feel horrible. I don't really like seeing that. Um, so when I looked at the map, I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna take all three serpents and, um, and yeah. I'll see what I can do. I have to ramp Mojo because one of the Serpents is on a debuff immune node. So I can't use Claire for him. And so the plan basically is to use Mojo for a few fights. And I have an R2, um, Sig 40 Mojo. And yeah, so first up is this Silver Surfer. And uh, the plan is not to stay too close to him. I'm going to parry. Um, uh, short combo and kind of stay away. I get blocked hit, so I get good prompt RNG right here. And I don't want to get him to get too many regens. He gets one there. I parry the, uh, the special one and I parry both hits. So I'm building my prowess here. Um, and I'm getting really good pr um, prompt RNG. I decide to throw my, uh, my special right there, even though my fury is not up. But I'm still doing 2k, uh, you know, 2k a tick and I have hold block. So I'm holding block here. I get that last uh, that last prompt, and uh, at this point, I'm like, okay, should I wait for the next prompt? Uh, no, I, I'm not going to do that because I'm almost at three bars, and the uh, DLT did did rather well. I'm not a Mojo expert at all. Um, I I literally used him in the Karina challenge, and I figured I I I'm capable enough, I guess, to try to try this out. Um, but his damage actually really surprised me. That first fight um went rather well i was afraid of the regen there um to be honest if i stack too many but um surfer went down um and i do have some surfer ptsd from when i first ran map 8 a long time ago and he was unblockable after specials or during his specials and it was just so that always comes into play now here i'm using a white magneto pre-fight so i can parry uh, from the start and i don't have to worry about masso now my global prowess will stop the uh purify for masso but um mojo does not have any any um debuffs so really i just want to play the prompts i don't want to die here to lose my ramp um but there i should have heavied um it's it's you know the thing with mojo is that you do need to um read the prompts so i baited a heavy from him which gave me my fourth uh you know form fourth 
million, you know, um, follower, whatever they're called. Here I decided to push him red. And this is because I had an invulnerability boost. And one thing I, I overlooked is the regen on Mangog Special 3 will basically make him unblockable. So I'm not expecting that here. And boom, I take this and I'm like, oh man. So I take that all to the face, it pushes me red, and I throw this, um, this Special 3. And uh, I, I do have class boosts on right now. I think I'm only running 150% boost, maybe 200, I'm not sure, but I think 150 because I, I'm not taking my, the Serpents just yet. But I have my Fury up, um, I have uh, my 5 million you know, followers and uh, or subscribers, whatever they're called, and right here I'm going to throw this special too, and it just does massive damage and the degen would have totally annihilated him. So uh, that fight I was a little worried about just in case he went unstoppable and I had to like intercept him. I split the path here with, uh, with somebody else so I could... Um, it was a photon there, and I think um, Ares took it with, um, no, it was a Rintra, and Ares took it with photon. Uh, totally nuked it, so so that was good. But I have Maestro here, an R3 Maestro. I have three persistent charges, and I'm like, all right. At this point, um, I just don't want to die and lose my ramp. Um, and I've taken Maestro in BGs before, so I know this can go well. Again, it's all up to the prompts, but the more ramp you have on Mojo, then the less the less scary it is to get bad prompts because you, you want to get to five and get that massive fury. So there I heavy just to stop his cosmic charges and I get um, I get a, a good prompt right away. You see that my, uh, my fourth charge is there. So um, here um, I trigger the, the fury and I'm like, all right, perfect. I just need to get um, the special two off and uh and start that degen you see it's it's cooking for 5k a tick right there and i'm like okay this is this is going uh you know rather well um i throw this other special too and uh and yeah when he's when he's ramped he he really does start you know feeling rather rather good and there i dashed back i was gonna dash back and parry and i missed the parry and unfortunately he uh you know he pushed me red so here I just decided to hit him with a combo because I, I like keeping him at special twos. Um, but I throw this and I have my fury up, and uh, I'm gonna degen him after this, so um, it'll it'll be fine. But at this point in the in the war, um, I felt really good with Mojo, um, and uh, and yeah, so I felt kind of strong. I was waiting for someone to place a shock Odin on a serpent on the fire shock. Uh, uh, node and uh, you know this game is all about you going to stuff confidently and stuff um, unfortunately someone placed it on the wrong serpent on this one and I don't need it on this one need it on a separate one so we had to kind of scramble um, we've had some trouble with like misassignments and stuff this season but we sorted it out so I did end up getting an Odin on on the next fight uh, as well so, and, and I didn't need it here but it's here um, but I I want to say that my lack of experience fighting Serpent and using Mojo kind of played out here. I, this fight starts really, really well. I want to keep my fart gas up, basically, or whatever it's called. It's fart gas to me. And what that does, it, it lowers the duration of buffs by 90%. So when he gets his power gain, basically, it's going to it's going to just shred off of him, and then he's going to degen. And so that's that's my main goal. So at this point, um, I have uh, I have five million uh, you know followers or, or whatever, and I'm like I need to I need to get my um, I need a dex right here to get the um, the the fart gas up. But as soon as I dex, he throws that special one because um, I bait the dex, and I'm like, oh man, this is not good. But uh, you know, try to recover at this point. Um, throw this special two, and I'm like, okay. Uh, I'm, I'm working right here. I'm, I'm, I'm cooking. So he throws this. I take it on the block, and I should have tried to parry the last hit right there um, to get some um, prowess. But at this point, he was indestructible, and I don't have any global prowess. So he goes indestructible when I throw this, or else this would have killed right here. And it pushes him red because I don't have any fart gas, and I am dead. So there's a lot of stuff going on in that fight. Um, it started really bad, really well. 
I took that hit because I dexed. I had to get the dex to get the fart gas up. And then he throws a special immediately, which sucked. I recovered. But at the end, there's just so many prompts happening with his buffs and my commands. And even the Odin's kind of, you know, blend in on my side. So it's rather frustrating. But Mojo absolutely can wreck this. Especially the way I had him ramped. Um, here I have him ramped less because I, I died. Um, but... You see here that uh, this fight is uh, is basically over. Um, I uh, I throw I throw this. Um, I, I have an indestructible boost, so I know I'm gonna push him red here because uh, I didn't have my my fart gas up when his power gain started. So I'm gonna take this, and he is gonna go. Um, he is gonna get that power gain, but it doesn't push him to three bars because it shrugs off him, you know, sooner with my gas up. And at this point, um, he uh, he dies. So. That fight's over. Uh, next up is another serpent on the fire and shock uh, Odin. And the, the problem with this serpent is actually insult to injury. So with Claire, I like to be able to parry and, uh, and do a short combo, a short combo to remove his, um, his first buff. And, uh, and here I need to actually, you know, kind of play it slowly because I don't I'm not um, it starts in a fire like I don't have fire immunity yet so I'm literally trying to get the shock so I can get the shocks on me because I have a shock Odin so I can heal but I, I lose my indestructible and I'm just like man this is not what I wanted but I I'm uh, he throws a special two and I'm like okay I need to get to um, I need to get my special three off and I need to be able to, to swap over um, to my incinerate mode so I can A, deal more damage and B, uh, be incinerate immune so I don't have to worry about that DOT. Um, and there he throws this special, you know, right in my face. I don't know why this war, I was just eating them. Um, again, it, it, it comes with, you know, fighting him kind of more often and, and being more aware of what's going on. Um, so, and you're also trying not to dex, you know, you're trying not to trigger dex to give him more, um, more of the, um, indestructible passives this is the war before they nerfed it so now when you have a global prowess you redu reduce the um the power gain effect and here i push him red to throw my special three so i can use my death immunity thinking that he's going to throw his special three right after this because my indestructible boost is gone I make a big mistake here i throw this and uh, he throws a heavy so i go to hit him i should have let him throw a special three while my death immunity was up um, but I did not, and at this point, I'm not gonna get to a um, to a special three, so I throw my special two, and yeah, this is gonna kill me. I had this fight as well. This should have been a solo, um, but unfortunately, I didn't. So again, this was really a really frustrating war. Um, but I decided to take these three serpents, so. Other people just didn't have to deal with the stress of it or die to it. Um, but here you see that my parries actually land. So I get three prowess um, right off the bat. I get the fourth one there. And I'm going to get to my special two. And I'm going to throw it. And it gets a debuff immunity. It's going to stick. And he dies. So <sighs> rather frustrating there. And, uh, and next up I have one more serpent. And uh, this one is on this Vigilance node. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to... Uh, I thought about using Mojo, to be honest. Um, I, I probably would have tried it if he had five charges. But Claire works for this Serpent here absolutely perfectly. Because with Class Boost um and the poison mode all i'm gonna do is basically spam sb2s it'll keep the buffs off of him completely which will keep that whole uh you know vigilance or the falter part of the node um basically uh off of him and here i don't know what happened i use i lose my indestructible but it doesn't really matter because here i'm gonna power steal him and he basically goes under two bars which is fine and I'm just going to keep kind of recycling this. I'm, I'm going to be gaining uh, more power. Um, so I'm watching my power bar because I don't want to go red. I want to keep power stealing him so I can shorten my combo. 
I don't want to switch into incinerate at all because then I'll lose my ability to power seal. So there I, I did a shorter combo to get my SP2 off. Um, he throws this. I, I avoid the first hit and block the rest. Um, and that, that works. Uh, so I again, I have the buff immunity up. And uh, I'm staying away so I can parry, parry him, build more global prowess. And just kind of recycle this over and over. If I had suicides on, this fight would be much faster. Um, however, I'm going to be spamming a lot of special twos. So I would be taking a ton of recoil damage. So here you see that I am topped off over 90, about 98% right here, right? Um, and the fight is completely in control. So here I throw, uh, I throw this special two. I still have my relic, which I'm going to use in case I need to lengthen my combo to, um, to get to my special two. And I throw this, uh, this special two here to get another uh, debuff immunity up. And uh, he is all but dead here. So that was my war. I died twice. I've been dying to serpents this season. <laughs> um, but we did end up losing this war. So, you know, GG's to Legion. Shout out to Karate Mike, Clown, and PWF on MVPs. And I will see you in the next one.